The Taliban's swift and total takeover of Afghanistan, culminating in the capture of the capital, Kabul, was accompanied on Monday by grim reports of violence as the Islamist militants moved to reimpose power. I'm speaking on behalf of millions of people in Afghanistan. The nation's UN ambassador warned of mounting human rights abuses. Kabul residents are reporting the Taliban have already started house-to-house -house searches in some neighborhoods, registering names and looking for people in their target list. There are already reports of target killings and looting in the city. Kabul residents are living in absolute fear right now. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres called for an immediate end to hostilities and human rights abuses. We are receiving chilling reports of severe restrictions on human rights throughout the country. And I am particularly concerned by accounts of mounting human rights violations against the women and girls of Afghanistan who fear a return to the darkest days. The UN Security Council later issued a statement calling on the Taliban to establish through negotiations a new government that is united and includes, quote, the full, equal and meaningful participation of women. Uh. One female member of Afghanistan's parliament who was laying low at home spoke to Reuters over Zoom from Kabul on Monday and said she feared for her life. As an MP, as a female, as a, someone who is coming from uh, like uh, civil society activism and human rights, women rights activism. So for sure, I'm afraid of myself, my life and my, my freedom to work and my freedom to speak up. As the Taliban gained ground, thousands of civilians desperate to flee crowded Kabul's airport, giving way to horrifying scenes. One local news agency reported that some people who had clung to the outside of a U.S. Air Force plane plunged to their deaths after it took off. Reuters could not verify the report by the agency. The return to Taliban rule came as U.S. and other foreign forces were leaving the country 20 years after the Islamist militants were ousted by a U.S.-led invasion. Guterres appealed to the 15-member Security Council to, quote, use all tools at its disposal to suppress a global terrorist threat from Afghanistan to ensure that other countries were not threatened or attacked.